Your old method of dealing with ants just isn't cutting it anymore. You need new techniques, new strategies. Well, we've got you covered. It's time to suit up and let the battle begin. It's that lovely time of year where picnic tables and food scraps are running amok. But you don't have to let the ants ruin your lovely camp out or picnic. Always bring some extra containers with you, such as Tupperware or disposable plates. I found some pie tins that were perfect. By simply placing the legs of the table into the containers, we'll be able to make an effective barrier against creepy crawlies that are trying to make their way to the top. Just fill in each one with water and they won't get too far your picnic moat is complete. Now, obviously, the best way to avoid an ant infestation is to make sure you leave nothing behind that they want. The sugar left over on something even as tiny as the lip of a soda can is enough to send one little soldier back to his nest for backup. So before you toss your cans and bottles in the bin, give them a light rinse to remove any sweet coating that might remain. Just because you don't see anything doesn't mean it's not there. So make sure to always rinse your recyclables before they get stored. If the ants have already penetrated your defenses, you can start by making your own traps to protect the areas you suspect they might be interested in. Get yourself some sugar, some water, and some borax. Its ant slang abilities are legendary. Get yourself a small container and add three tablespoons of sugar directly to it. Now grab that borax and add only one tablespoon. You don't want the borax to overpower the sugar or the ants won't take the bait. I'll be using tiny and cheap containers to hold my mixture. Pour enough in to cover the bottoms and you'll need to add just enough water water to make a syrupy consistency. I simply dipped a straw into a glass of water and dripped it over the mixture. You can always add more water later. So go slow with this and begin mixing everything together until it runs kind of like maple syrup. But be sure to keep it out of the reach of children or pets. While borax is a common item, it shouldn't be consumed under any circumstances, which is another reason why I'm using a sealable container and I'll be adding access holes to that so that only the ants can go in and out. Once you have everything mixed, just place the trap and give it a few days to clear things out. Remember, you want the ants to come and go so they can get back to their colony. Don't kill them. While a simple trap might work on its own, you usually need to combine methods. That means you need to find the ant colony itself. If you knew where they were coming from, it would be far more effective to destroy them at their home. Now, if you can't find a visible trail of ants, you can simply spray a little vinegar near one of them, and it'll usually go back the way it came. So slowly track it home and prepare for battle. If you want to avoid any harsh chemicals that could harm your yard growth, this one's for you. Just run a hose up to the ant's home and turn it on for about 10 minutes. You really want to saturate the dirt and send the ants packing. Just do this daily until all activity ceases. Now, of course, there is a far more effective way to go about this. Simply throw a pot of water on the stove and mix in a healthy amount of cayenne pepper to make this more potent. Vinegar will work too if you don't have any cayenne. Once the water reaches a full boil, ask someone to get the door for you and then grab it with oven mitts and go outside. Take the boiling water over to the ant colony and slowly pour anywhere you see access holes or live ants. The boiling water will kill them on contact and wash them away. We need to get rid of the pheromones and trails that the ants left in your home for the others to follow. You do this after the problem is solved because you want the ants to take any poison they find back to their nest. This is pretty simple. Get a spray bottle or container and fill it half with vinegar and the rest with water. Put in a few drops of dish soap for good measure and hit those nooks, crannies, baseboards, and entryways. Do this until you feel confident that there's no trail left to follow. We put out a couple videos a week, so make sure you're subscribed and let us know if there's anything else you need help getting rid of. We look forward to seeing your comments. We'll see you next time.